What is up guys, I'm back with another deck profile and this time it is the much requested Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, most of you already know I'm not really a fan of the archetype but because you guys have been asking me so much for the deck uh, I did want to try and make a version that I would play with. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not even sure if this is the best version because I had to try, have to try it out in order to know. But because I don't like the deck archetype myself, uh, I don't have a lot of experience playing it. But I do know uh, what staples you need in a deck and what is important. And the most important things are you need to get your uh, standard cards like Impermanence, Blossom, Maxi. Uh, but the thing with this deck is I don't lose to it ever. Like, this Blue Eyes deck isn't that strong in my opinion, but if you really want to craft it, for sure I'm just going to give you the list. But don't take my word for it. Um, I did do my own research and I made the best list according to my knowledge. So you, you guys can go based off this list and then you can uh, see what other deck cards you want to use. So I start off with uh, three Blue Eyes White Dragons. Then we're going to go into uh, one white stone of legend. Basically, the ratios might be a little bit wrong. For example, uh, you could be running two trade-ins, more nebula dragons. Uh, you could be running skill drain in, instead of impermanences. But yeah, this is just a deck list that I came up with. You have three Sage with Eyes of Blue. You have the White Stone of the Ancients, three of them. Three Max C, three Ash Blossom, standard. Uh, then you have the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Uh, the thing is you also want to make sure you just have the, the, the normal Blue Eyes. Uh, not only get the uh, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, obviously. Uh, then you get the Drag uh, Dragon Spirit of White. Nebula Dragon, two or three, you can play around with that. I get a Harpy's Feather Duster because this deck does struggle with clearing back row. And if you're going second, Impermanences and Harpy's Feather Duster really helps with that. The reason why I'm not going Lightning Storm with this deck is because just like Dark Magician, you want to have a true light on the field to resummon your, uh, your blue eyes. So it is quite similar to Dark Magician, but just... This deck is really, really simple. It's really straightforward, really easy. And that's why I don't really like playing it. But it is quite similar to Dark Magician as you want to get your blue eyes to the grave and resummon it with True Light, uh, resummon it with Return of the Dragon Lords. Uh, and meanwhile, while you send them to the graveyard, you can also draw, uh, for example, discard a card and add to, up to two dragons to your hand. Basically, what you can do is the discard the blue eyes, add two more blue eyes to your hand, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, moving on, playing the one Harpy's Feather Duster, the three trade-ins, uh, three of the Melody of the Awakening of Dragon, then uh, Return of the Dragon Lords, then I'm running three Pot of Desires instead of the other pots, because the thing is, for example, with the Pot of Extravagance, it means for the rest of this turn, after this card revo re re resolves, you cannot draw any cards by card effects. So basically, if you activate this card, you can you can no longer uh, use these cards. <clears throat> That's why I'm not running it. Uh, wait, I think the same. Yeah, the same. The same with Pot of Prosperity. That's why I'm running the Pot of Desire, so you can still uh, use your draw because you have so um, so much draw in your deck. Um, standard two call by the grave, uh, three infinite permanences, and two true light. You can use three true light, but I think it's just too much. It's not really like this card is less important as in uh, it is in Dark Magician, in my opinion. Then the extra deck can be switched up. This is just what I came up with, just to help you guys. As I said, I don't have a lot of experience with the deck, but I, I did want to give you guys a head start and help you out because it was requested so much. So I'm going to start off with the Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Then we're going to go into Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, obviously uh, the Blue Eyes uh, Spirit Dragon. Then we're going to go into a few number cards, number 100 Numeron Dragon. The Galaxy Eyes, there's a few Galaxy Eyes actually in this uh, extra deck list. 
your Photon Dragon, you have the number uh, 38 Hope Harbinger uh, Dragon, then you have the number 97 Drag Lubian, number 92 Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade, we're gonna use a lot of Galaxy Eye Cypher, it's Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade, uh, what's his name? It's just Dragon, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, I'm not really familiar with all these cards, as you can see I don't even own them. But this is just, yeah, just to help you guys. Uh, this is a Zeus, Link Karibo, and a Crystal Helica Fabrics. So basically, as I said, don't take my word for this deck because I don't have a lot of experience with it. It's just because of the fact that you guys have been requesting it so much that I was kind of forced to help you guys out and just give you guys a standard deck uh, build where you can uh, go from there and then you can uh, even see or where it evolves to. Basically, if you're an uh, experienced dark, uh, not a dark magician player, a blue eyes player, feel free to uh, leave some suggestions in the comments, help each other out, and help each other uh, make the best deck list for this. Uh, so yeah, I hope I helped you guys uh, somehow. I hope you guys enjoyed the explanation. Have a blessed day. Peace.